Hello, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm sharing a layout for Paper Maze. I'm still working with the Cozy Days collection by Simple Stories, which I'm really enjoying. It's caught me a little bit by surprise because a lot of the collection is brown and I'm not a fan of brown, um, but it works perfectly for autumn layouts and it's a really pretty collection, so I am really liking it. So for this layout, I've picked two of the patterned papers to focus on. So this floral one you see here is the B side of the 2x2 two two Elements patterned paper. And I'm cutting that into thin strips. I think they were about an inch and a quarter wide. And then I've got this lovely mustard coloured um, gingham paper. That is called Happy Faller Day and I'm cutting that into thinner strips. I think it was about half an inch, let's measure. Yeah, so that was just over half an inch I've cut those. And my idea was to have them coming in from the sides of my layout, um, one on top of the other like this, with a bit of mixed media underneath each one. Um, I'd kind of drawn myself a sketch to go by, um, I loosely followed it. I had these paper strips drawn out on my sketch, I knew I wanted them positioned like that with some mixed media underneath it, um, and after that it was kind of a wing it situation. So I got the basics down um, and then just had a play and the layout came together actually a lot quicker than I was expecting. So with those strips I've just distressed all of the edges as I always do um, just with the blade of my scissors and I'm going to take a pencil and just mark out where I want each of those strips to sit ready for my mixed media. So here I am just marking up roughly where my strips are going to sit. I don't want to go too mad with the mixed media, I just want to add a bit of colour behind each of those sections of patterned paper. So I'm using an acrylic paint tube here, um, it's kind of a mustard yellow colour, slightly brighter than that um, gingham paper when it's dry but it matches the collection really well. And I'm using it with a dry brush so I've got no water at all. Um, and I just wanted um, kind of the dry brush strokes to show through. I didn't want to saturate the page with colour, I just wanted um, some lighter areas and some darker areas which you achieve if you don't add the water. Uh, so just adding one of those, I'm using my T-square ruler because with things like this I can never get them straight and I'll paint them on and I do it sideways like this to, again to help me make it straight. But if I don't use a ruler, uh, they just go wonky down the page. So um, the rulers come in handy there. And because there's no water and I'm just using that paint on a dry paintbrush, it dries pretty much instantly. Um, so bonus because there's no waiting around for my layout, my background to dry before I can crack on. So that's kind of how I want it to go. I wanted a bit more of the um, mustard colour showing out. So I'm just adding uh, some more here. You can see with that second section I've just done there, I haven't used the ruler and it's not particularly straight and that is going to bug me so I might have to go back and um, fix that at a later date. But yeah, I just found that the ruler was really helping with uh, keeping my paint straight. So that's how it's all going to sit. I'm going to stick the um, Happy Faller Day, that uh, gingham checked paper, that's going to be stuck down using double sided tape. I'm just going to stick that flat as it is. And then the, um, the two by two B side, the floral paper, that I'm raising up. I've got um, an adhesive double sided tape that is foam, so it adds a bit of dimension. So I've used that to stick down the thicker, darker stripes there. And just to add a bit of more interest and dimension and um, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to go about embellishing the layout at this point so it gave me kind of like a layer to tuck things under if I wanted to a little bit. This gorgeous paper, um, I love this, it's just called Tags and that is that is simply what it is. It is a sheet of um, 12 by 12 paper full of tags. Um, Simple Stories seem to do them in all of their collections lately and I really, really like them. 
So one side of the tags are um, patterned with um, either writing or like this one's got the fox on it. And then the B side, it's just the top of the tags that are patterned. So they work brilliantly for tucking behind photos and layering and things. So I'm using a full tag to the left of my photo. Then I'm gonna add a couple of the top sections peeking out the top. I've fussy cut that beautiful fox from one of them and then I just used the the um, other side of that fox just at the top there to bring some grey into my layout. Um, I want grey on the page because the um, the alphabet thickers I'm going to use for my title um, are grey so I needed a bit of grey so that worked really well. So as you can see the layout is slowly starting to come together. As I said, I didn't really have a plan once I'd got past the mixed media and those strips of patterned paper. So it was a case of just playing with what I had and seeing what worked where. And those tags have done a lot of the work for me. So there's a lot of white space on this layout and those tags have taken up a lot of it and added some beautiful colors and patterns to the page. So they do a lot of the work for you. So they are brilliant, those tags. I've also got there a pile of leaves they have been fussy cut from the Harvest Wishes paper. That's another really beautiful um, patterned paper in this collection. It's just full of leaves, um, all different shapes and colours. So um, they've been fussy cut out. And then this piece here is from the Journal Bits and Pieces pack. I wanted to use it as a layer at the bottom of my photo, but didn't want to lose the hedgehog. So I've just used a craft knife cut around the top of him so that my photo can kind of slot down into the hedgehog so he's still visible. Now I'm just working on trying to build up some clusters using these journal bits and pieces. Um, I contemplated adding another couple of smaller um, strips of patterned paper with mixed media um, top and bottom there but decided against it. I just continue working on my clusters. So I've added a couple of little tabs there. One says um, yay fall and one says welcome fall. And the round green circle there says have a cozy day. Um, I just stress the edge of that one in a minute. And on the bottom left there, I've added one that says gather. So I've just taken a quick break from embellishing to work on my photo because at this point I've realised that nothing is stuck down yet. So um, I'm piling everything on and I'm going to have to take it all back off to stick it down. So I thought I'd better uh, work on my photo. So I'm adding a layer of white behind. That's because my background is white. And also in that floral patterned paper, some of the flowers are white. Um, so whereas I've been using ivory coloured cardstock for backgrounds with most of this collection. I've gone with white for this one and then I've added a second layer of matting there in a gorgeous dark green and textured basil cardstock. There's green in the floral paper and there's also some green in um, like the leaves and a couple of the bits I'm going to fussy cut out so I wanted a bit more green on the page. Um, and I've just distressed the edge of that as well so I'm leaving it at that for my photo layers. Um, and as you can see, I've had to pull everything off to start again. I'm punching the holes out of the top of my tags because I'll add some embroidery thread through those. And I'm distressing all the edges with scissors. Um, I like distressing edges as a general rule anyway, but I find it works really well with these autumn layouts because there's a lot of texture on the forest floor in autumn. You've got all the leaves, You've got usually water where it's rained so much. We've got loads of toadstools in the forest at the moment and twigs and acorns, so lots of texture. So I'm trying to recreate that with my layouts by having lots of texture on them as well. Once I've distressed the layers of things, I'm either using just normal tacky glue or double-sided foam tapes and uh, foam pads and things just to pop them up and add a bit more dimension. Um, because my photo is on foam, I had to add one layer of foam behind that little hedgehog piece there just to bring it up to the same level, otherwise my hedgehog was getting a bit caught and bent over. And now I've got to go back through and build all my clusters up and decide where I want things. So these are those gorgeous fussy cut leaves from the Harvest Wishes paper and I've got some berry sprigs as well. 
I'm trying to scatter them um, kind of evenly in terms of colour distribution. So I didn't want all the brown ones in one corner and the green in the other. I'm trying to build the clusters so that each colour is represented in each cluster. So there's a nice even spread of colour across my layout. This gather piece here is from the journal bits and pieces pack. I trimmed a bit of the border off, um, it was a bit too much pink for me and I've just distressed the edges. I've decided I'm going to build a leaf cluster up behind that um, just to use up some of that white space. It was looking a bit dull in the bottom there. So I've built a leaf cluster behind that which I will stick down with foam pads. And then I've pulled out one of the other tags from the tag patterned paper and I'm going to fussy cut all the elements off of that. So I haven't made you watch it, but I fussy cut both of the squirrels and both of the um, little um, floral pieces, banners, I'm not sure what you'd call them, but there was two of them. So I fussy cut them as well. I've put one underneath my fox there at the corner of my photo cluster and the other one goes down at the bottom of the layout. I'm just going to work my way through now and stick everything down. I'll do this off camera because uh, it's going to take me a while with all of those leaves. But as you can see, I'm just going to use foam pads for most of it to add some texture and dimension to the layout. So there we go, coming back in now, everything is pretty much stuck down. It's just that last couple of pieces there. And just checking everything is stuck. And then it's just a case of um, my title. Initially, I was going to have that journaling card, or sorry, that tag that says Happy Fall Y'all as my title, um, but changed my mind because I remembered I had these gorgeous stickers. The um, stickers I'm using are the Aria Bella Boulevard ones, and they're in grey. So I'm going to build in a title underneath my photo there where I've got that big white space that's kind of jumping off the page saying, do something with me. So this is how my layout is looking now, it's all stuck down. Oh, this um, Love You So piece I've pulled out and tried to use on every layout I've made with this collection so far and each time I move it about the page a bit and decide I don't, I just can't make it work. So I'm pleased to say I actually made it onto this layout. Um, I think it was the scalloped edge along the bottom that was bothering me and for some reason it never dawned on me to cut it off with my previous layouts um, so today it got cut out um, and then that bit works perfectly down the bottom there and adds a bit of grey as well. So these are those Aria um, thickers from Bella Boulevard, I absolutely love these, the texture is almost kind of rubbery but plastic. It's um, they're really weird, but I really, really love them. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have to order some of these because they come in loads of different colors. Um, so yeah, I foresee an order going in for some of these in different colors. Um, so my title is going to be Thankful For You. Um, I didn't want to put For You in the thickers as well. So I think that would have been a bit too big. So I've pulled out some smaller thickers. Um, I think these ones are by American Crafts and they are glittery so they kind of have glitter in all of the colours in that floral pattern paper so they worked really really well so once I'm happy where I want those positioned um, I can just build that kind of leaf clustering around it and that's me pretty much done I did remember off camera that I'd forgotten to add my embroidery thread to my tags so I just added some different coloured um, thread in off camera there so thank you very much for joining me today. Please do have a look at the collection over on Paper May's website. It's all loaded and ready for you. If you want to find direct links to everything I've used on the layout, head over to the Paper Maze blog because I've put all the links in there or I'll add some in the description box below. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Precious Pages Papercraft. So thanks very much and I'll see you next time.